Okay, so. Oh, wow. Oh, you went that route with it. Okay. So, we're doing, we're doing a sneaker video, and this guy's dressed like Andre Agassi's wild brother. This was once around a, a shoebox. Oh, wow, it was. No wonder that's a husky headband. Yeah. I and mean, that's like a headband for an elephant. All right. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, nice. Okay, so today's video, we got a couple of gems. Not one pair of sneakers, two pair. Oh, wow. Two pair. I said give me two pair. If you enjoy the video, hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. We do a brand new video pretty much every single day, so you don't want to miss anything. Also, you can hit that little bell icon, notification gang, 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 gang. There it is. Boom. Hit that because sometimes YouTube gets a little bit funny and they don't want to publish our videos to the subscriber feeds. So if you are part of that notification gang, bam, you will get a notification. You can decide if you want to watch. But whatever. That is what it is. Today, we have some sneakers. I feel like we need like a theme song. Like, you know, 90s sitcoms, you know. So you're talking, you want a jingle. I want a little jingle for like new shoes. We don't have the music. We don't have the score set up yet for our new shoes, but we do have the shoes. Okay. So insert theme song here. Numero uno, Nike box, as you can see. Drum roll, please. Bang, bang, the Nike Air Max One. And what is this colorway called? Ridge Rock. Ridge Rock. This is the Ridge Rock colorway. This sneaker was Euro release only initially? No idea. Okay. Could be, that could be completely false. Never mind. Scratch that from the record. I'm actually shocked at how good these are because I didn't even know these released. I literally did not see any pictures of them. I didn't know anything about them. It just goes to show you, basically, there's so many hyped releases now that stuff flies completely under the radar so much so we've talked about this a lot but so much so that you don't even know it's there it was different back in the day when you would walk into a sneaker store and everything was new almost yeah. it was like or when i say new i mean like you hadn't seen it it was like oh look at that look at that look at like that was the thrill of it now with social media and blogs and youtube channels it's tough to really get a sneaker to fly under the radar. There's almost no sneaker that releases that we haven't seen on Instagram or YouTube or yeah. Twitter or s somewhere. Very rarely. Really, I mean, you don't really visit blogs like that, but between all of that stuff, it's very rare that a sneaker flies under the radar. And I did not literally, 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 I did not know these existed. This is a side note. And just uh, look at that blue right there. Can we, can we appreciate that for a moment with the blue swoosh? Continue. This is just a commentary on the language. But the nomenclature. The nomenclature. The lexicon. The American lexicon. Too much. I don't know what that is. Continue. Me vocabulary. Okay. 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 <laughs> um, oh, wow. Oh, the word literally, if you look in the dictionary now, one of the definitions is figuratively because people use it incorrectly so much. Like you'll say, most people I was, aren't going to get how good that is, but I, I get it. Like they say, I was literally dying of hunger when they were just figuratively dying of hunger. So, so it means the exact opposite. Literally means literally and now figuratively. Wow. Amazing. The English language, amazing. Hove also said that when language stops progressing, then the culture dies. Hove said it first, Buckets said it second. That makes sense though. That makes sense, and these make sense. These make a lot of sense. These make a lot of sense for a lot of reasons. The Air Max 1 is one of my favorite Air Max models ever. The leather quality is not anything crazy, but that suede on the side is nice. And it's just, there's something about that blue that pops right off the side there. It's just like, bam. It's like cool it's, color blocking to me. It's, it's, a, it's very cool color blocking. You know, you've got the tan, you got the, the darker shade. I guess that's Ridgeback. Oh, I, I don't know. I thought the nice. Ridgeback was the blue. Maybe. Maybe. The blue, I'm going to call the blue uh, Bohemian Ocean Lagoon Water. Okay. Bohemian Lagoon. You, you got you to gotta give colors fancy names. Yeah. Fancy things on the colorways. So 
This is a Nike Air Max 1. You guys can see, we don't have to go over the every color. That's not what we do here. No, they're very nice. They are. Very nice, very nice. I, I'm actually shocked at how nice they are. It's crazy that a sneaker that is so well executed, you don't even know about. Like, to me, that's kind of shocking. To me, personally. Yeah, it's, you know, it's the hype machine and different things. Exactly. Okay, so Air Max, another Nike box, in the words of DJ Khaled. Another one. Another one. Do we drum roll this one too? No. Drum roll, por favor. <laughs> bang, bang. The Nike Air Force One in the Olympic colorway. That's what I'm calling it. That's not official. The Nike Air Force One 07 LV8. Elevate? That would that appear would, to be. Yeah, that would the appear thing. to be the situation. To me, it's like, it's an Olympic colorway. You know? Or a USA colorway. That's what I mean. You got the red, white, and blue. You got the gold hits. You got to win gold medals here. You exactly. You got the gold insole. Th these are fire. Again, to me, like what's the right word to use? Number one, I didn't know these released either. And I I'm pretty sure both sneakers sold out on the Nike website. I see you there. Nice. Which I sneak that in there, kid. Huh? Sometimes. Sometimes. I'm shocked at how Good they are. Yeah. And to me, it's, it's almost baffling that, th that they're under the radar. Now, like I just mentioned, they did sell out on the Nike website. So it's not like you can't say like no everyone means. slept on these because like they sold out. Yeah. Now, they are available. I think I saw there were some pairs on Foot Action or the Jimmy Jazz website or, or, or something. There are pairs there that you can find. But nonetheless, it's, uh, it's dope. And the quality on this pair is not bad. It's decent. It's not like... It's not like the linens. Oh, no. The linens are, I mean, the linens are amazing. One of the things that I think is cool, and personally, I'm a fan of switching up materials. Yeah. So I like how they did all leather, and then it's like this canvas, this can, uh, like a nylon on the back, like a nylon canvas. And I really dig the, the gold insole, too. I mean, I, I love, I like USA colorways. You know, I like Olympic colorways. Yeah, you know, I think of whenever I think of Olympic or USA colorway, the, the seven comes yeah. to mind. That's like one of the best executed stuff. It's funny because you know Air Force Ones have come back in style now a little bit. Yeah, I think the mids are maybe a little more popular than the lows. I'm more of a fan of the mids, so maybe I'm biased. I like the lows, but I'm if I had to pick, I, I'm more of a mid guy. I think they look a little bit better with jeans, but. Um, it's just cool to see some of the sneakers that are so, so hyped. Like you mentioned the linens, Yeah. right? When the linens came out, it was like me included. I mean, I was, I had to have those. I was so excited about them and I'm not necessarily comparing these to the linens, but it just goes to show you the hype stuff versus the not hype stuff. Yeah. So everyone knew about the linens coming out or a lot of people did and almost no one I can guarantee you, um, has seen these or knew these were coming out i mean we didn't yeah you know. i mean you don't see there's just not the same social media coverage on them these and the air maxes are perfect to, to show together because they're in the same boat so to speak yeah. you know two really 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 dope sneakers very well executed and yet poof where did these come from yeah so anyways you know what are your thoughts you like these better or the air max better i, I like, like these better i think i like the air max better I love the mini I, swoosh. I, I knew you were going to say these. Yeah, that mini swoosh is nice, embroidered in like I that. love the mini swoosh. I love the tongue tag. Me too. Yeah, that tongue, that tongue tag. Nice. And I love the the back, just the contrast there. Or whatever yeah, you want the to call materials, it. yeah. Also, the Nike Air. No, that, no that's, that's what, oh, that's oh, what oh, I meant. Oh, I thought you meant the, the canvas to the thing. No, no. Oh. I don't give. No, Nike Air. That Nike, you know, you have the Jordan logo. Very dope. You know, you have Adidas. You have, you know, there's a lot of great logos out there. And the Jumpman logo is, no disrespect, I mean, that's that's solid. But I think that the Nike Air logo, for me, has a little bit more nostalgia, maybe. A little bit more, like, I just think it it's so retro, yet it's still modern. It's just, there's something very, very extremely exquisite about it. Anyways, so that's it. So these are the two sneakers. Bam and bam. Buckets prefers these. I prefer the Air Max. I think both are really really nice that is it but definitely did want to show you some sneakers you know sometimes you know we get sneakers and we don't even show them 
because maybe not that many people have asked about them or whatever the case is. Sometimes we have to pick and choose with what we show because we can't show everything. But something we want to start doing more is showing more of the sleepers. That's why we go to Marshalls and hunt for limited sneakers and you know talk about best sneakers for under 100 bucks. Is It's cool to get out there and find the gems because I think that is the essence of kind of being a sneaker lover and getting out there and finding stuff. You know, the stuff that everyone knows about for three months and we know it's coming out and where it's releasing and that gets a little bit boring after a while. And so this is the other side. This is the, the other side of the spectrum, so to speak. So there it is. There you have it. I don't have anything else to say. Thank you all for watching. We really, really appreciate you. Yo, leave a comment below. Let us know how you feel about both of these sneakers. More specifically, tell, tell us which pair you like better. And if you like neither pair, let us know what's a sneaker that has released this year that you didn't know was coming out, that you just walked into a sneaker store or you just got online and bam, you saw it there, but you didn't know it was coming out prior to that. Leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. This is Buckets. I am Foamy. We will be right back here tomorrow. We're out of here. I I've proclaimed and named myself as Jon Snow of YouTube. I'm Jon Snow of the sneaker game. Me and him, we look very similar. What? He doesn't wear a Yankee fitted, and I don't wear a fur coat. But if those two things changed, we're pretty much identical. You have a red beard.